Wait, am I singing the right song? <laughs> Hold it's on. It's a song. <laughs> keep going, keep going. You had it. Bum, 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 What's going on, everybody? This is Coat Relief. I want to do it again. Oh, it was so good. It was so good. This is Cody. Max. Zach. And Ronnie. And you're listening to the Talk It Off-ish Podcast. My um, God, that was fucking hilarious. I think that was the most chaotic intro you ever were had. So, you literally wanted no, to start I, it over. I did, I did. I'm, I'm actually a little pissed. That was a, that was a ripper <laughs> of a one take, though. Yeah. Oh, so... <laughs> I'm actually a little pissed. So, uh, we have another person with us. Isn't that crazy? That's crazy. Let's not acknowledge him for yeah. the entire podcast. <laughs> no one says shit to me <laughs> moving forward. Dude, he's, no eye segment. contact, it would be the worst. We have guests... And we just don't even look at them the entire time. You're just there like a mannequin. Yeah, that would be like reverse ethics for you guys. Yeah. Or, yeah. You go from you, showing all the love to no love at all. You just do play by play of the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Funny Commentary. joke by Zach. <laughs> you write columns for yeah. the podcast. Cody one, Zach. Seriously, you're never doing the intro again. <laughs> I know. I should. I, I should have those uh, responsibilities revoked. Yeah. It's so, what uh, makes the intro. So, uh, who are you? Uh, my name is Ronnie Ish. I play oh. in a rock and roll band called As It Is. Pleasure Ooh, to be here. Shame. Wow. Give it up. So, how long have we how have we known you, Ronnie? When did we meet? <clears throat> when uh, was briefly that? in the back of a trailer on Van's Warped Tour in 2015 when Riley was uh, giving me a fade. Yeah, <clears throat> you actually came back and you were like. <clears throat> Hey, what's up, dude? And I was like, hey, man, what's up? Nice to meet you. Like, yeah, right. S- sucks. And he just walked away. <laughs> and I was like, well, that was not pleasant at all. Oh, good time, Zach, man. 100% did not happen. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I totally made that up. No. Uh, I probably came outside and was like, mm, that guy looks real cool. And I, <laughs> dude, what's your name? It is such a sick, bald fade. <laughs> I wish my head looked like that. Oh, my God. Not. Dude, my first memory was just like the bromance that you two had on oh, Warped Tour. Warped yeah. Tour. Yeah. It was yeah. like an undeniable bromance. Dude, Fondest you memory. Changed my life. Yeah, the, the amount of uh, Warped <laughs> memes that went around. Right now. <laughs> I know. Dude, the I eye re- contact and all of a sudden everybody in the room fades. <laughs> <laughs> I remember at one point uh, there were people on the crew when because I guess we should explain that. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> 2015 Warped Tour is when we met originally, but 2016 Warped Tour you rode in our bus the whole summer. Yes, uh, I was with Fearless Records, yes. and they had uh, shout out, yeah, shout, shout out, out Fearless, Fearless Records. <laughs> one true, one true. <laughs> I don't know. One true love, one uh, bless up. <laughs> this is on camera, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, but that's it's also, embarrassing. But it's also just going to be an audio podcast, and I love that that yeah. happened. You just hear, you just hear like the softest kiss. They yeah, y'all should probably rip over to YouTube right now. You got to do it again, but way harder now. Yeah. <laughs> Check myself out. That's for the audio listeners. Yeah, so it was on the bus uh, all of 2016. Yeah. And uh, we had a day off relatively early on in the tour, and everybody fucked off, and it was just me and Zach left in the bus. It's like everyone left us, and yeah. we're like, hey, what's up, dude? And you're like, hey, what's up, dude? He's <laughs> like, I'm just going to rip the toilet really fast. <laughs> <laughs> I could come out, and uh, he's like, like, what are you doing today? I was like, oh, I don't not, you know, haven't like really decided. How about you? You know, and it was just like, oh, I don't like really know. And then we sat there for like 10 minutes. And I was like, so like, we should do something together then, right? Yeah. And it was like, yeah, naturally, probably. I think both friends. of us were really wanted to be friends, but we were nervous. Mm, like, like, it yeah. was like that. Uh, Total schoolyard. Yeah, yeah. yeah school, it schoolyard we, nerves. Nobody knew how to, Yeah, nobody knew how to make the first move. And then we, I think we ended up going to a Chili's. Yeah, your, your like leg brushed against mine. <laughs> yeah. And you were like, Chili's? <laughs> Somehow that you means looked too. at each other and said it at the same yeah. time. <laughs> We're like, um, what should we eat today? Chill. Oh. I will say, so people on that bus, they got jealous. They did. Of the bromance yes. you had. They were upset. They tried Dude. to tear you apart. They were they were like trying to get unflattering photos of us hanging out. Oh, so that, yeah. Our so, worst angles? Yeah, garbage, yeah. if and you we ask were, me. <laughs> we were like, pathetic. Uh, we're still really good friends. Uh, I remember there was a day on that tour where... Uh, there, uh, one of my old friends that I was really close with came, and I and the he most was like, awkward you know, shit ever. And I had to like explain to him before he got there that I was like, it was like introducing hey, my new there's boyfriend. A, there's a new, there's a new, there's a new boy that I met this summer, and I just want to let you know that like we went to Chili's together, so <laughs> and it's, uh, it's been serious. going really, really well. So yeah, I, I definitely feel that uh, it was really funny because 
you could like see the chemistry between us and he was just trying to like catch up the whole time. Yeah, yeah, and he, yeah. he was like trying to force himself into like the gaps and we're like, ha, ha. <laughs> <laughs> him out. Yeah. He was like, dude, this sucks. I'm leaving. Oh, he spent man. more time in the porter potty than the bus that day. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Do you oh, feel God, honored? Warped Tour porter potties. Oh, Oof. that is a different experience of life. You know, Warped Tour porter potties are hot. Because when you go in them and you poop and then you come out, it's cold outside. <laughs> and it's like 98 degrees outside. And 140 and it, in yeah. the tub. And then when you yeah. come out, in the box. When you come out of that fucking yeah. uh, porter potty, it's like straight up like a chill. It's, it's, like, just, it's weird to be in a box peeing outside and in the distance you're hearing simple plans I'm just a kid. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, dripping and sweat and you come out and all of a sudden it just dries. Like your yeah. forehead just... <laughs> you feel, honestly, it's almost like you put yourself through a little bit of hell just to feel a little bit better getting out of there. I'm convinced yeah. that COVID was created in a warp tour porter potty. Oh, there was like a whole like tweet going around that was like, if you use a warp tour porter potty, you're, you're, you're immune. You're immune. <laughs> Yeah. Facts. Dude, it was so disgusting. Like, we literally just had, like, a, a stupid song that was just shitting in a hot-ass porta potty <laughs> shitting in a hot-ass... I think it's a country song. But, dude, there was, like, never... There was never a good Naturally. time because the, everyone had the morning rush to try to go get the first porta potty Yep. And um, you were always too late. Yeah. <laughs> but when, you, when you found... Dude, I remember on, on Warp Tour in the morning, if you had to use a porta potty you were so bummed but there were those special mornings when somebody else would come back. Like they, they were coming back to the bus and they'd be like, I found porcelain. People would wake up, yeah. they'd pull out of their bunks like, did he say, say porcelain? porcelain? Yeah. <laughs> that means you could poop on a real toilet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was. And you would like, the, like, when you were describing how to get there, it was always like a journey for Lord of the yeah. Rings. Like you just oh, go yeah. over the mountain yeah, over yeah. there, walk one, three miles. One thing that, that reminds me of, in 2013 Warp Tour, Max and I would go and sell to the line. We would sell like- Sunglasses. Sunglasses oh, to the dude. line. And we had a whole song. Yeah. Uh, it was a $5 sunglasses song. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> yeah, but uh, one- We're not going to do the song. Oh, I want yeah, you to do the song so You bad. should rip it. Okay, uh, you want to I'm a yeah, fan. Okay. <clears throat> Legitimately a fan That's of this. That's a good one. Five dollar sunglasses. Woo, woo. Five dollar sunglasses. Woo, woo. You, gotta, you, you gotta put the stank on it at oh, the end. Uh, Otherwise, the it doesn't one. sell. But the, one the, your sayings, like, you know, like when someone, when you're at a baseball park and you're like, that guy's selling hot dogs. Like, hot dogs, hey, I got your hot dogs. Your hot dogs here was fuck <laughs> the sun with your eyes. <laughs> yeah. Dude, we had so many of those. But I was just gonna say that one of, the, one of those days on the Warped Tour, we had to find the line. And we were like, hey, where's the wh where's the line? Where are the kids going to come into the venue? Mm -hmm. And these people have like never done, they're like staff that are like event staff. They've never done Warp Tour before. So it's like seven in the morning and the it's sun's all like, fresh, all the new. sun's like blazing on them and they're all exhausted. We're like, hey, do you know where the line is? Major each, key market right there. Dude. Because yeah. Yeah, they got the money too. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Each person that we asked, so like the staff member, like where's the line? The fuck, the staff member was like, like, like they have just woken from a dream. They were like, <laughs> "One, um, I think it's over the hill." And you're like, there's no hill. What's going? On? The hardest thing I've ever been met with was, "Why the fuck would you ask me?" Yeah. <laughs> really? And I was like, "You are so unpleasant." Yeah. Good morning. Wow. Yeah. Fuck you later, dude. Yeah. There was a. There was so there's a there's a production day on Warp Tour. So it's day zero before the tour even starts and everyone's setting up and testing out all their gear. And me and Zach were just walking around because we wanted to see what was going on. And there is a man. Really trying to sco scope for porcelain the next well, exactly, day. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. But there was a man who we saw who was working on the main stage and he had to uncoil this, this cord all the way down. And he was just sitting on the ground, his, yeah. hand, his head in his hands. Just shaking just, his he had, It was day zero, and yeah. he fucked up somehow. Staring at it like he has to build a rocket ship to the moon. <laughs> he, he had just fully given up. I, yeah. And you know what? I didn't see him for the rest of the tour. I think he quit. Straight up, day sure. zero, too. Yeah. I've like, never seen a man more distraught in my life. Yeah, hilarious. So. I'm just going to pour one out Whoa. for him really fast. Ooh, ASMR on the, on the podcast. I almost said the stream. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> this is a nice wooden table. <laughs> Talk, talking about it in the warm so, up, I've got like serious PTSD. After all chair. that Warp Tour talk, <clears throat> we, sure. We so after Warp Tour, you joined as it is directly, like a year later. Uh, I did two more years uh, with Fearless Records. Okay, okay. Yep, and then uh, 
third year, 2018, I joined as it is. Nice. Yeah. How did so, that go? Amazing, man. Ripped out to, uh, well, it was really strange because I declined like my third year extension. Um, At Fearless. Yeah. And they're like, hey, is everything cool? Are you feeling okay? You no. know, is it a, is it a problem? <laughs> this, this, this. And I was like, oh shit. No, everything is great. I probably should have led with, a, I'm just joining a, a band on the label. So we're still in the family. Yeah. And they were like, oh shit. Cause it's kind of ass backwards, right? Like typically yeah. you play in a band and then you maybe work for the label. Mm -hmm. You don't like work with the label and then play in a band. Yeah. 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 Hey, Fearless, can you guys give me a job after this is all over with? <laughs> Make a Fearless sandwich. I never have you considered that, like, you worked with the label and then went from working with a label to being on the label. And it's been yeah. such an incredible experience now yeah. that we're working on, like, the next record. That's awesome. Yeah. How, how deep in are you guys right now? Can you talk about that? Uh, yeah, we're uh, really deep in. We're about to... Uh, Ooh! Oh. Almost got you. Dude, don't say <laughs> anything else. I uh, know. Yeah, that's no, such so, a good cliffhanger. Yeah, yeah, we've just been working on new music. Uh, yeah, new doing, music coming soon. Are you guys doing cryptic stuff before you release it? Is that why you have to? Yeah, that's like part of the rules. Shut, <laughs> shut your mouth. <laughs> I hey guys, the uh, why the fuck is Zach on this podcast? <laughs> <laughs> no, I just, I'm just, I just, I'm really looking forward to one day waking up and seeing a tweet from As It Is that just says Friday. <laughs> I just can't wait. Yeah, yeah. I just saw uh, uh, that that tweet that went around like, oh, like circulated from uh, from meme oh. uh, from Finn McKinty. He's like, I need the confidence of a local band that no one's ever heard of. That's like. Big things coming soon. <laughs> you know? Hilarious. Set it off once. This was before I was in the band, but set yes. it off once did those cryptic posts to announce a new MySpace Space layout. Animal. Yes, we did. And it was like dinosaurs. <laughs> like it was like uh, animated dinosaurs. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Are we boring you? Wow. Are we boring you? What? Wow. It, it's wow. amazing. No, right? not you all, just you. <laughs> but, but, but this LaCroix is next, man. Oh, wow. Yeah, it is. I've never tried this shit before. Not sponsored. Lemon <laughs> Jello. <laughs> Should be, though. It's yeah. my favorite one. They Should pay? be, though. Yes. They pay yeah, you? Are you, are you? How no? are you getting paid for this one? If if we're not, um, just, cut the, <laughs> just, just cut this out of the edit, yeah? <laughs> It is legitimately the best one, though. It is. Which one it is it? Reminds me of pie. It tastes like a lemon cookie, lemon pie, lemon oh, yeah. pastry of any yeah, kind. Like Girl Scouts uh, of America? Yeah. Would they get a lemon cookie? Oh, yeah. What? I've never I've, had that lemon cookie. That is the wackest shit. Yo, we have to go down, I'm so down to Ralph's. Strictly. Down to Ralph's. They're hustling right now. Hey, yo, no, they're not. The, the, the new Girl Ralph's. Scout lemon cookie just dropped. <laughs> yo, <laughs> yeah, It's like I'm a gonna, shoe drop. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, saw, I, saw, I saw some on StockX, so I'm going to definitely. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I just picked up a new box on GOAT. Uh, you know, I, <laughs> I, I, overpay, I, I overpaid, but yeah. whatever, you know. Dude, do, so how, do you, uh, eh, 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 try it again. Eh, eh. Um, so do, have you guys have your own favorite um, Girl Scout cookie? Like, what is your go-to? Mine's lemon. Oh, you know, so yours is lemon. For sure. You know sure. what mine is? What? Mine's Thin Mint. Do you know what the secret is? Do you know what the secret is? <laughs> You put every, them in the freezer. Every the freezer. single time you talk to yes. someone about them, they tell you to put them in the freezer like they're the one who first thought of <laughs> it. Know. Oh, yeah, yeah. They That's, look around because they don't want other people to know. Yeah. I know. I love being, Do you know what the secret is? I love doing it as fast as possible before they can do it. <laughs> before they can reply yeah. and say anything else. I like putting them in the freezer. <laughs> I, I do that with... <laughs> they, they get scared. <laughs> I like putting them in the freezer. Oh, no, I like putting them in the freezer. <laughs> So, so uh, the new the new as it is record is Girl oh. Scout cookie themes, right? Is oh yeah, that... how do we get here? I don't remember. We, they're selling them outside yeah. of a grocery store nearby. Yeah, Robin, as it is, yeah, is just new triple record. dark chocolate. Um, it's it's gonna be a sick drop. You know, we're really proud of it. Really working on it during COVID. The ingredients are chef's fucking kiss. How does it? How, so. <laughs> Uh, I'm uh, assuming that you guys uh, aren't like near each other. Or were you guys near each other? Friends, the... yeah, no, not at all. Oh, dude, yeah. I, I can tell. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, Patty sucks. has told me some. Patty's told me some stories, and I'm just yeah. I bet he he certainly has to you of all people. <laughs> I know. I never you talked know, to him. You guys just made me think of is his tea still a saying? Like tea? ooh, tea. Oh, give me the tea. Give me the tea. Uh, yeah, I was like, is, yeah, give me the oat latte now. I was about yeah, to yeah, say welcome it. to 2021. Dude, right? I was like, I'm about to say it, and I'm like, oh no, I can't because I think it's gone. Yeah. The tea? Has tea has the tea died? <laughs> is the tea? Should we have a funeral CPR. for the tea? <laughs> TBR. I, can never, I can never tell because everything on the internet <laughs> is like it's <laughs> it's a saying, and then the saying becomes like like, oh, that's that's dumb to say, but then it becomes ironic to say it, and yeah. they just keep like shoving it inside of its own ass over <laughs> and over again. 
<laughs> until I can't recognize what's a joke and yeah. what's not. So sure, yeah, yeah, it's still around. Oh my god! Just I, say I, you I, were saying it ironically. There were so many phrases that I'm just like, I just reject them. I'm like, I'm not gonna say trill. Yeah, <laughs> true and real. I'm never saying trill. Y'all just made me choke on an ice cube, and the only way that it got on lodge was it melted. <laughs> <laughs> my my throat is so cold so right now. Die, no, luckily, yeah, no, it melted. Yeah, yeah. yeah the, the heat turned up, thankfully. Oh my god! Wow. Um, so what? yeah, so I was new- just about to ask something, and I like we got distracted again <laughs> about cookies. Oh no, no, no! Don't. And let's let's just stay on track here. <laughs> we don't have to talk about goblins and other things. Let's just right here. Were you guys together when you wrote for the new record? Right. Or were you- so, um, yeah, me and Patty came out in like October of 2019 and we did like a whole round of writing sessions here in here. L.A. Yep. Oh, nice. And then um, <clears throat> and we did like a week in Indy and then we went on the Great Depression North America Act like U.S. tour. And then later on that year, we followed up <clears throat> with writing here. What was that? <laughs> Zach How was, the fuck can we stay on track if you can't sit still, Zach? Zach Listen, was breathing into the mic, and I was, I was like, hey, your mic. And I, I was so enthralled that I was breathing heavily into the mic. We have this, this problem because we have these really cool-looking pop filters, but there's no top to them, and our nose yeah, goes right like? over top. What are those pop filters you like? You want to see what yeah. it's like? I wish I had that. Let's all do it. <laughs> just do to harmonize over here. Low ground. Yeah. And we've lost every subscriber. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it sounds a lot like, you know, when you, when you, these guys suck. It sounds like when you come home and you've been around another dog and your dog has to smell you. That's what that sounds like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah and it's getting, oh, dude, that's so good. Yeah, yeah. It's like getting right in your ear. Do it again. Do it again. <laughs> oh, who's doing the mouth stuff? Oh, what like, the frick, Zach? Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Blame uh, it on Yeah, wait, me. wait, we got off track. We oh, it was like, oh, no goblin, just sniffing. It's always going to happen. So you wrote the Yeah, album so then with- we came out here in uh, October and November of 2019, and yeah. then we went on a, a series of tours. Yeah. Um, and then, well, not even really a series of tours. I think that we just did like three tours, and then when we got home from Japan and Australia, Two weeks later, the world shut down. Mm-hmm. We were, we were oh, scheduled to record the record last April. Okay. Cats out of the bag. Yeah. And um, <laughs> so, like a year ago. And when that happened, we had to pivot. So then we just took everything to Zoom, which was like super fresh territory. We were like, we're like the first ones to do this. <laughs> you doing, like, Zoom like, maybe they'll probably like want a partner or something. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. I was I, about to ask. I like, promise you they don't. <laughs> <laughs> Just the one friend in the room that's a fire extinguisher. You know, it doesn't matter how like fired up you are. You just like. <laughs> I promise you, they don't. So shot. Oh, God, so I missed funny. you so much. Oh, um, it's like we never left. I was gonna. I was gonna ask. I feel like you. You. Your band of all bands might have been the most apt to do this because, you know, some of you are in the UK. Some of you are in the yeah. states. So this yeah. long distance kind of band thing, how does yeah. that work and how well, did that change during COVID? Well, Patty's a dual citizen. Uh, in October of 2018, mm-hmm. I went over there for the first time like to tour properly with the band after Warp Tour. And <clears throat> we went on, I don't know, I feel like we didn't come off the road for like 10 months. And then I just moved to the UK. Oh. And it was one of those things where I didn't have like a proper visa. It was like operating on a T5 is this what illegal? I don't. We yeah. should talk to somebody yeah. about this. You Maybe don't, you don't have to get in depth with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. We're not trying to yeah, get yeah. you deported. Don't, don't right? rip the whole <laughs> fucking story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Here's my social security yeah. number. You don't need to show your birth certificate. Yeah. yeah. All right. Cheers, man. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> 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 fucking hosing me down. <laughs> Just maybe, maybe if you would like land the Man, plane. It was wild how excited I was to see you guys. <laughs> maybe uh, oh, dude, this podcast if is you could just hurry up and week. land the fucking plane, that would be sick. Oh, no, man. so anyways, uh, <clears throat> what the fuck was I saying? So, so, you, you so moved. I moved. Yeah, I moved over yeah. there. And, uh, yeah, um, moved over. Stayed in Brighton for like two years, and then. Properly moved back after we got Is back Brighton from Japan and Australia. Are, are you all stationed in Brighton? Yep. Oh, cool. Nice. Between uh, London, Brighton. Yeah, between London and Brighton. Nice, nice. Yeah. Uh, Foley just bought a house um, like oh, more sh- up north. No so way. Right, right before COVID. Oh, nice. Bup, bup, yeah. yeah. Dude, it's the craziest thing. I, I always like hearing everyone's situation that they were in when they were shut down. I don't yeah. know if you heard about ours. Like we were like g- gonna do two more tours, and then we had just had to get an Airbnb and wait it out and find what was going on in oh. Australia. In yeah. Australia, yeah, we, we were okay. stuck in Australia. Well, which is UK like, and Europe too, right? 
Yeah, yeah, it was yeah, such it's a bummer, that. man. Yeah, but it's it was, so rad seeing all the tour posters. It was like sold out, sold out, sold out, sold out. Hey, but, the whole tour sold out. In a way, we were we were in a good position just because we weren't like just dropping a record or yeah. like just like you said, you had to pivot. Super like, vulnerable. You were about to time. record. Yeah. I mean, so that that pivot. I'm assuming you guys had to have like many talks, figure out the right move, and everything well, yeah, like that. too, especially because we haven't released a record since 2018 August. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. So it's like shit. It's already been two years, yeah. and now we're coming up on this summer. Will be the third year with no like actual new music. That's not reimagined. That's not like remixed yep. things. Yeah. You know, I know exactly so. what you mean, man. And then we've been in a similar situation because like we once we realized, okay, well the shutdown's here. We could, let's start writing. Let's start working yep. towards the next record. And then we we're like, well, maybe touring will come back sooner because like everyone's trying to guess. Yeah. When touring's coming back, sure, and so we and everybody would, failed miserably. Oh, yeah. every time. <laughs> well, I mean, I, honestly, we were just listening to our agents and, and yeah. what they Same. told us. Same. What they so like when we had to reschedule our last tour the last couple couple times, it's like it's out of everybody's hands. Yeah, no one. Like, everyone's no one doing knows. the best they can. Right? Exactly. Yeah. <clears throat> we're all in it together. So for us, it's like been like with this next thing that we're working on is we really care that we're able to play shows again. And we don't know when, when that is. All we have is this hope that things are reopening. Like LA has been super shut down and we were just talking about that. It got to the, like the least or the most lenient tier. Yeah. Yellow tier. That just happened totally. like today. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. Well, yeah, so, with, I mean, with as it is, man, it's like <clears throat> we beat the absolute fucking breaks off the Great Depression. Yeah. And, you know, like 22 countries, hundreds of shows, whatever the hell, hell it yeah. was, you know, it's like beat the mm-hmm. breaks off. Like if the Great Depression was a vehicle. Um, it started off like sparkly and shiny. It's like that new car you take off the lot. And then two years later, it's like a fucking jackass episode. Just, <laughs> it's literally just me, Patty and Allie. And it's in flames. And we're like, we should get the fuck out of here. New you know? car, <laughs> new <laughs> car. Yeah, yeah. Or just anything that could take us to the next thing. Yeah, so, yeah. You know? so like all that being said, like you touring off of that record for so long yeah. and then the pandemic <laughs> happening. Do you think that affected how this record sounds? Yeah, like so. Yeah, uh, well, how much yeah. of the record was written before COVID, and how much of was it scrapped? In one the- song. Every I think wow. we wrote like 20, 30 songs, scrapped them all except for like one. Wow. wow. Uh, we were actually we reworked a second one that we had an oh, idea okay. of, and we were just like in love with the pre-chorus. But then we took that melody, we re- we restructured it, rewrote it. I mean, all new instrumentals. So not a ton, really. Just no, dude, one and a half tracks. Wow. wow. What made you want to scrap them? Um, to be honest with you, man. Um, me and Patty were just in a really dark place mentally yeah and we're like you. you know like we we've got um we've got relevant 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 shit to say that's going on with us right now yeah we were on cloud nine before this because we just beat the fucking brakes off this record and yeah like we had just we just felt like we were in such a good place man where it's like oh we announced writing and leads we had all these really cool opportunities that we uh, felt like we just tore our ass off to get and yeah you, you sometimes you just don't get those opportunities unless uh-huh. you stay the out for like yeah. two yeah. years straight. Yeah. So yeah, uh, stay the when f- it, out for sure. Dude. Yeah, stay the f- out of my life after this <laughs> podcast. <here. laughs> Dude, my favorite part. No, seriously, my, yeah, yeah. This group chat. Uh, can someone just dead him really fast? Oh my god! Yeah, my amazing. favorite part about this is that fans are not gonna. They don't know our relationship. They're not gonna at get it. All. Yeah. So they're like, they we're gonna kiss on the mouth Wait, as soon they, as this is do, over. Do they love each other or fucking hate each other? Yeah. <laughs> they actually had to sit us further away so yeah. we wouldn't constantly just be like yeah, touching each other you know <laughs> very true vt sorry so I, re- I interrupted your story because oh you- no it's cool man it was honestly i, I couldn't be any more boring <laughs> <laughs> i think people are going to be really interested yeah. yeah yeah no it's it's interesting like to see the parallels between set it off and as it is because obviously we toured together and like yeah. we've both been around the block a few times and just to see like the evolution see where things go like i'm excited to yeah. hear what comes after yeah. the Great well, Depression? I think we Thanks, first met. I think I, I, I might be wrong, but I think we were the first band, American band, to bring as it is to America. Period. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's wild how many people have actually brought that up. No that way. Tour specifically, uh, the last two or three weeks. No way. Oh wow. Yeah. That's yeah. cool. We it's did wild, the man. Glamour Kills tour, and it was uh, GK. Yeah. It, yeah. it was us mm-hmm. against, against the, the current. current. Yep. As it is in Rome. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And both of, and both Rome and as it is. Did they drive together, right? Yeah. Uh, wow. I think they split like an 18 pass or was yeah. it a 15 pass yeah. and they shared oh crew my maybe? God, that's, that's right. <laughs> Dude, so yeah, they were hustling. That's crazy. Like that was before you were in the band, but. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I uh, I met them on Vans Warped Tour 2015. Dude, uh, I think people, don't, we don't get to talk about enough about how many memories are made when you're in the van and everything. Oh my yeah. God. It's actually my favorite memories. I think, it was, I think so yeah. as well. And because it's always like brought out of just absolute 
what could be described as torture. Like, Tor. I sure. remember, I do, right? It's just part of the word. I, <laughs> <laughs> Can't spell torture without tour. I always, so I have to ask you this. When you think about touring in a van, what's the first thought you have? Uh, not sleeping. But where are you? Oh, what do you see? I'm in. I'm in my my little in the my hole. little bench. Yeah. yeah, I'm laying down in the hole. We're gonna fucking yeah. <laughs> yeah. In, in between the bench and like the two benches because oh, let's face it, nobody respected you. They're like, <laughs> 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 no, it's because you, you have six people in a van, but there's only four bunks. So one sleeps up front. No, I know. Yeah. No, no. Oh yeah, you know. Okay, great. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm glad he knows how this thanks, works. Thanks for walking into my joke, but I don't. <laughs> I, I have missed this. <laughs> this being the fly on the wall for your guys' shenanigans. Yeah, my forehead will never be the same. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, I remember sleeping on the floor. I, I remember sleeping in vans was the the hardest part was like if you slept in one position for too long, mm -hmm. you were fucked up. You had to move. Yeah. Or like because like sometimes you'd sleep on your side and like the seat belt buckle would push into your hip and uh your, your whole leg would be numb and you'd yeah. wake up and be like, I'm, I'm I don't have a leg. You know, what was was great, though, is like when when all of the bands had their own uh, van, it was it felt like going over to your friend's house because everyone has a different pull kind up of in van. the Walmart parking lot. And yeah. then it's just like all four of you like pot of pull yes. up. You're like, oh, dude. Let me see your crib. But like we had, we had ours was dedicated to sleeping. We had as many bunks as possible. Same. We had bunk beds in the, the back. curtains. Yeah, but we would like tour with friends of ours who like made theirs a living room with like a TV yeah, yeah, and an yeah. N64, and it was like, oh, cool. And yeah. I'd go over to my friends. Never house. really ramped it up in that uh, way. I mean, I, I remember uh, installing power strips, so and every yes. one had one, and then like little oh, yeah. lights that you stuck, so it's like. Little night yeah, yeah, yeah. I just remembered. So we toured this band that's no longer around called the Venetia Fair, and they built, they built yeah. their the, like these bunks. So, like so behind it, like if you're thinking of a 15 passenger van, there's like this like back bench, and they just put like a plank of wood there. So there's a top bunk where you sleep above it, and then underneath where you're just trapped behind the chair <laughs> under by the trunk, and they called it Spooky Town. Yeah. <laughs> Which we adopted. We, we adopted it. We did. <laughs> Which we, were we stole. So in love yeah. with that freaking well, name. I wouldn't say stole. It's not, like we, it's not like we made money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like we Spooky resold it on tickets. Yeah, it's not like we resold it on Stock X. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, come check out Spooky Town. Yeah. Ours was nice. We had lights. There was uh, yeah. while you're here if you want some there. lemon cookies. Yeah. <laughs> no, it was great. I loved that. Yeah, yeah. the uh, old vans touring in vans is crazy, but I'm a, I'm always on the other side. You guys. All have said that you like touring then more. You no, like, there's more well, memories. More, me oh, more okay. memories. Like for I instance, love how yeah. we tour now. Oh no, we tour way more comfortable now. Oh, and yeah. I think oh. the the for me, like I think back about all the funny times and how how we just like barreled through all the all the oh, hard yeah. stuff. Like the like adversity. touring, yeah, the adversity of it all and pushing through it. Like there's something to feel good about with that. But yeah. I remember always I envision Walmart parking lot late at night, winter up north. And no amount of socks and blankets can keep your feet yeah, warm. Yeah. Oh, dude, that happened a couple of times. Do you remember now, did, when we would? Did you guys keep it running? Never. No, no, no we weren't allowed. No. no. Uh, well, <laughs> well, 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 <laughs> so that's the biggest thing that we should break for yeah. young touring bands for your right vehicle. now. It's not. It's so not. if you're what? an F one fifty or more, so that is actually the same engine that ambulances use, and they run twenty four seven. Yeah, yeah. They're always started. And the thing is, is that we did the math on what it costs to do, run the heat and to run the AC. All night. We stayed in the Smoky Mountains in Tennessee for three days straight, burned one tank of gas. You are we gotta, kidding we gotta, me. We got to bring our tour manager, our, ex, yeah. our old tour manager yeah. here. That's why. To debate this. Yes. That's oh, thing. sure. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Bring him in. It was, it was, Come was, on down. Yeah. Andrew Cram. <laughs> oh, the boy. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. No. In like a fucking WWF. I love intro. that guy. <laughs> yeah, he's a. Uh, Last guy on planet Earth I ever want to argue with about yeah. anything. <laughs> He is, pretty, <laughs> he is pretty smart, too. He'd probably uh, WWE body slam. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He would come in here and DDT my ass real quick. <laughs> Maybe a b -b -b body slam. <laughs> with knowledge, though. No, no, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Purely with words that will never, ever on brand my ass. But that, but that was a thing. Like, we were so concerned about the health of our vehicle. And Always. our finances, well, because your you, had, you had to pinch pennies. You yep. had to. Yep. And and just to survive in that sort of environment. But Which I, I will say in the tour management, maybe that's why he was coming from. He didn't care because oh, yeah, yeah. even one tank of gas when you're spending $100 every four hours yeah. to go anywhere. And we're yeah. making nothing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. We're, not, we're, we're, yeah. we're trying to break even. We got yeah, paid. Hey, we we got made a hundred tonight. Yeah, we got paid in Little Caesars Pizza. Like we yep. didn't, it just, there was no money. There was. I never yeah. saw money. Yeah. No. Not at all. So. I remember one time, uh, speaking of the cold feet thing, like we had a 
what we call it, Trash Alley. Was that what we called it? Cool trash Alley? Tra- yeah. Oh, yeah. oh was yeah. it trash the front? Shoot? Was it yeah. just trash the front? Shoot. No, yeah, trash, trash shoot. Trash shoot is what we called it. Just like where all the trash ended up falling right at the door. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. See, we I have, was the annoying guy that always had the bag, and I'm just yeah. like, guys, so fucking seriously. We, we needed you. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that was one thing that's so funny about our band and the, and the trash in our band is that it, it would fill up in the van, right? And you would, everybody was like, like trying to be comfortable in the van was so, it was so selfish. Everybody was so incredible. I'm not even. I'm afraid to admit it. Yeah. I was incredibly selfish because you needed sleep to yep. be able to yes. function. So you, so you had to be like cutthroat about it. But I remember sometimes if you sat in the, if you slept in the front bench, there was a trash can next to you and it was always overflowing because nobody was taking it out. But it was always overflowing because everybody had the same mentality, which was uh, you would lay down, you'd see all the trash and be like, oh, I can't believe I live with these fucking animals. And like, <laughs> Yeah. And then and then and be like, I'm not gonna fucking clean it up if they're not gonna clean it up. Yeah. Making yourself another yeah. ant. Like, and then <laughs> as you're pulling over like Dorito bags yeah, or like yeah, yeah. <laughs> falling you're like, oh fucking pigs. And then <laughs> you're and smaller Dorito bags and yeah. bigger Dorito bags. Yeah. yeah. And then we all, we would all wake up sick and be like, yeah. what happened? Why do I feel bad? You guys remember those big bomb days where uh it would be like a day off and then you just era. What, what aerosol? What do you? Uh, oh, we had the fresh oh, like breeze. Air Not for breeze. No, it's like the aerosol. Like, like, yeah, Lysol. Like, Lysol. Lysol. Thank you. Yeah. What a hard word to find. <laughs> Holy shit! Don't plug that. Yeah. Um, and we would just bomb it, and we would spend a whole can in there, and then we would come in for a day, and then we would open the doors. We're like, oh, our home yeah. is fresh. Yeah, yeah. do whatever you could. We to have arrived. <laughs> All it's done is change the smell a little bit <laughs> for about thirty minutes, yeah. a little bit. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then soon as soon as one one dude kicks his shoes off, you're like, oh, there's always those things, mm. dude. I, I'm gonna bring this up, and if we don't want to use it, we don't have to use yeah, it. Yeah. But dope. There is a thing where we did. We would get you know when someone farts near you, you're like, who did it? Farts? Who farted? Oh, okay. Because yeah. like if you're in a closed space, right? And then if people, if you keep farting, it's just you're ruining the whole trip. It's just so rough. But then one time we wanted to know so badly that we would have everyone announce when they farted. <laughs> and they would go, farting it up. <laughs> um, didn't man. we talk about this on the podcast? Oh, wait, did we? I think. Are we bringing it back? No, oh, I, wait, no we wait, Maybe we didn't. Maybe we did. Well, I think oh, we just talked we? about it recently. I think Ish. we did. Oh, okay. We did talked we? about it. We'll have to find out. But regardless, we, we realized by that game how often everyone farts. Oh, yeah. no. And we're like, we have to stop. Yeah, we have yeah. to stop. Stop it right yeah. now. Don't normalize uh, calling out farts. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Not dope. I don't like it. Yeah. yeah. I miss the days where it was just like, we we smelled it and then awkwardly didn't say shit for 30 seconds and we're just <laughs> disgusted with everybody. Yeah. We just go with like a really dark hole mentally. We're like, I fucking hate everybody. <laughs> There, there are some th- like you get into that mood sometimes oh, towards yeah. the end of tour where like the smallest thing you're like you are my mortal enemy. Yep. You cut in front of me Dude. at the Walmart and I was trying to get mayonnaise and now I hate you. <laughs> are you, are this, you uh, seriously on your phone? Oh yeah. Wow. I'm, I'm gonna, so it actually you know it, it has to do with this uh, this particular thing that we're discussing. Okay. Um, if you could just, I don't know, do your best to go into your hat of tricks and come up with something funny for the next 45 seconds while I locate this. <laughs> well, maybe That'd be much you, appreciated. Well, one thing I was Stop thinking when you, when you said seconds. that, when you brought up the like the getting so angry easily at the end of tours, Zach and I once once got in a huge heated argument because our fights have always been really funny. They our are fights very are funny. basically if I were to describe it in noises, it would be bah! all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> So we would when we first started touring, we would just be like, "Anyone, please, do you have a floor? Do you have a couch?" And yeah, we yeah. were, oh, yeah. we had a place to go stay at. And uh, there was this really funny thing where, as we're getting closer to the location, we would you'd see everyone start rustling around yeah. because they're packing up their stuff because they want to be the first person out of the van. It was they, the dip system. It was yeah. the dip system, and it was we should have came up with a way better system. Never did. But one time, Zach and I were like leading out the door, and we were like trying to not act like we were racing each other, but we were absolutely racing each oh, other. Yeah. We had a full blown argument about it. We did. It was cutthroat. It really was because you yeah. needed to sleep that night. It's yeah, and it's like if you haven't if you stayed at somebody's house for two days in a row. And you and you slept on a floor two days in a row. Like you haven't really slept. Yeah. Oh no. No. And and you're just like so antsy, and anything yeah. can like piss you off. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know. It, it's interesting how much on edge you can be on tour, uh, especially 
in the van days. Are you having a heart attack? You how much have you learned? Though? <laughs> how, how much have you... scared me? <laughs> Itching my stomach. Are no, you dying? Saw, you're rubbing your chest and like. Are oh, you having a heart attack? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dude, and yeah. yo, would you? That would be the worst no. day. We would Best not podcast. Podcast. Ever. <laughs> Best podcast. Yeah, podcast. So Please we, do. We would get views. We would on so views. Do. <laughs> Y'all deserve the views. <laughs> yeah. For have real. To ask you like while you're struggling. Like, okay, wait. Are you okay? Can we post it? Yeah. <laughs> my <laughs> last dying. Yeah. My last dying word. <laughs> post it. <laughs> Please. We bring the microphone to you so you can say. <laughs> yeah, you read it. Wait, wait, no, say it to the microphone, though. Say it to the microphone. <laughs> you got that? You got that? All right. We got permission. Yeah, oh, we're right. going to be Go. Joe Rogan big. I can feel it. <laughs> so this is uh, the, the three stages of tours, which is a total riff off what we're doing back in the Vine days. You guys remember that? Oh, yeah. Oh, Vine, oh, I yeah. remember Vine, yeah. Right, here, let's see if we can. Can you hear this guy? Yeah. This is quality Hold it top, audio. Closer to the top. Middle of tour. Want a donut? No, no, man. Okay. End of tour. <laughs> Start a tour. It's true. Jamming out to songs. Middle of tour. Absolutely zoned out, getting exhausted. No, no, man. Okay. End of tour. Shut the fuck up! Oh my god. It's it true. is. And funny. then and then you go home and you're you're ready to go home. You're like, oh, I can't wait to get home. And then you're home. And you're like, get me away from here. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and, and then you're you're there for three weeks. And you're like, God, I just miss all of my friends. Yeah. yeah. Let's just go do it again. We were talking about it's been two years since we've hugged. That was the nicest hug I've had in a long time. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, Same. my boy. I I agree. Uh, it's been such a weird thing because I feel like this. There's like this really weird pause button that happened because it doesn't feel like two years like no I, I cannot see any of you guys for two years and then i see you and i'm like oh boom and we're just right back on the rip yeah yeah and i agree yeah yeah it sucks not seeing everybody for two years i'm I know, so happy man. to be out here it's good yeah. to have you yeah honestly you guys all look super fucking good and healthy oh now. Yeah, thank good. you honestly like, y'all are thriving <laughs> <laughs> you thriving <laughs> yeah uh from the moment i hugged cody and we walked up all we did like there, there were two guys near us, and we were just spent the whole time complimenting each other from the time we met to all the way through the elevator. We're like, hey, you guys want to get in with us? They're like, yeah, fucking right. Yeah. Just sit through you we guys complimenting each other's outfits for another 35 seconds. We suspect they were just freshly super high because they had <laughs> ice cream and that they just didn't want to enter the elevator to oh. talk to anybody. Yeah, they're like, please don't make me talk. Please. <laughs> I believe high. it. Yeah. Oh my God. Max? Yes. <laughs> I feel like hey. you haven't talked a lot. Oh, you know, I'm just, I, I don't want to, you, you never want people talking over each other. So That's I just kind of, I kind of got like sneak in with a zinger. I'm you like, do. You're really good at that. Yeah, uh, on it's our, a strength. And then I pull back. Yeah. And then I, you know. Fly on the wall, little zinger. Yeah. You load it up. Uh, yeah. You're, you're, uh, you're, the, we just had a TikTok do really well. Yeah, we're famous. Our first one. Yeah. We, we're famous. We first posted one. a TikTok and not our first uh, TikTok ever, but we posted a TikTok video. And it got a hundred thowie mm-hmm. views. Yeah, so <laughs> thowie. So you're yeah. you're welcome, by yeah. the way. Yeah, we're gonna <laughs> fucking blow you up, yeah, dude. Uh, Anytime. No, but uh, <laughs> but I, I like it a lot because it's a funny uh, it's a funny moment with Max because he roasts Cody, which is fucking yeah, awesome. awesome. What was the roast? Basically, oh, do you don't listen to the podcast? Uh, uh-uh, I haven't listened to it once. Get him off! I, I didn't want it to. I didn't want it to like. Fuck with the mojo coming in here. I always like to do it really fresh, you know. Send them oh. home now. Yeah. Also, uh, these these three guys are extremely intimidating because they're the funniest guys in the room. So it's like I just had to like I I didn't talk to anybody all day. You know, I was like all my phone calls. I'm like, declining them. I'm like I can't give anybody the gas. I gotta Dude, come in. We hit you with a save it for the podcast because we were starting to rip too many jokes yeah. right off the bat. Yeah. As soon as I walked in, Zach was like, "Don't say a fucking <laughs> word. Yeah. Save it all for the podcast." Dude, one thing we were talking about earlier, which I actually really want to bring up because I don't think there's any shortage of fun talking about this, is theme parks. It just kind of came up because we were talking about like your favorite theme parks nearby and whatnot. Mm. Are you a theme park fan at all? Oh, yeah. Growing up, we would always rip Cedar Point with the family. You like, went to Cedar the, Point? In the summers, man. It's uh, being a Michigan boy. Ohio's right, right that, over the that's border. That's the one with the roller coaster like, that everyone's scared of? Like the best of? ones <laughs> of all time, apparently. Like Millennium I Force. I love, love, Crane love Mantis. theme parks, but I don't really like roller coaster theme mm, parks. Really? Like Six Flags and you like Cedar vom? Point. Do you vomit? Uh, Do you vom? <laughs> have you ever vomited? I'm a big vom. Um, <laughs> you ever like vom? Or? Yeah. Hey, can you... Do you ever vom? <laughs> Do you ever just like... Like it's so taboo yeah. to talk about. Hey, 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 come here, come here. 
Yeah, it's okay. Uh, no, it's just like I like uh, theming, like dark ride theming. And yeah, like, yeah, and like yeah. animatronics and stuff. I like the the combo, like when you do like Space Mountain or the Mummy, mm, where it's yeah. got the the action, the yeah. fast pace, but you're you feel like it's immersive. Oh, yeah. dude, I the Mummy ride to this day that and I think it's Space Mountain scares the absolute shit out of me because where, where I'm convinced. So it's like uh, so Mummy is Universal Studios and okay. Space Mountain is Disney, but they're both. Roller coasters indoors in the dark. And I'm convinced this is the, my ride is the one where a piece has gotten loose mm. and it's going to fall in front of me and I'm not going to see it. I'm going to lose my head. What a cool way to go. Yeah. <laughs> it would be, I guarantee you'd be painless. So much anxiety. Oh, dude. <laughs> I, I mean, I hope so. It would Honestly, be, it would, I would put my money in that bag too. It would know? be bad for you, but instant. But everyone else, oh my well, god, the, the anxiety. They get done with the ride and yeah. be like, "Wow." Well, I think about oh, that often. There was some uh, some like hydro stuff going on there. There was like wet. Oh my god, it's yeah. blood. It takes one guy to show up with a toolbox and a hangover and just <laughs> miss one screw. You know, that's what scares me. <laughs> I usually yeah. I can take thrill rides usually mostly I love the feeling in the pit of your stomach when you're like up too high and you're falling. Oh yeah. By the way, cons- I'm convinced that's all mental, right? What that Is feeling? It? I don't think it's physical because have you had it when you're dreaming? Is what? it like the like you're gonna you're gonna like tingle and you're gonna pee feeling? Yeah, like that sort of. I don't think of it's it like, that way. But what? Yeah. Uh, it's like you're gonna pee pee. Is, 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 is this where I, I plug like my little, diaper sponsorship? So you said you said. It's a little tingle, and then you feel like you're going to pee-pee? <laughs> he just said one day. Been oh, over a year. So been so off over a year and a half with my nieces and nephews. Do you have potty? <laughs> yeah, I go pee-pee potty. So, no, no, elaborate. So, <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so it's like uh, you're driving down like a really big hill yeah, in, yeah. in the country, right? And you get the that butterflies. Yeah, 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 butterflies. Yeah, yeah, the butterflies. Yeah, the butterflies, yeah. Oh, okay. That's I've not never, mental. It can't I, be. I've Stomach never, in your throat. Yeah, but yeah. I've I've never felt like I'm going to pee. <laughs> you got to double up. I've never like, when I'm going down a roller coaster, like a drop on a ride, I'm not like, I have to pee. <laughs> Dude, That's what the, they're saying. They're not saying we. It's oh, all, yeah. They're saying pee. Yeah. Woo. Or, or, finger, uh, guns, finger, finger guns. Finger guns. Finger guns. Finger guns. <laughs> Dude, but I, I I enjoy that feeling. There's that Doctor Doom ride in Islands of Adventure, and that's Hate all that. that ride is for. So you don't like yeah. the feeling? No, I don't no. like the feeling. Either. I think roller coasters are cool. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. if it's a ride dedicated to you going up and then afterwards going down, and that's <laughs> yeah. the whole ride, you're, it's lazy. And oh, when you wrote it like that, <laughs> like Tower of, Tower of Terror is like, hey, get in this elevator. It just went up. Now it's going down. Get out of the ride. <laughs> yeah. It's wow. not for me, man. Wow. It's not for me. Wow. I'm not the one. Yeah. There's a lot of theming. <laughs> I'm not the demographic for whatever. I like the to fuck that I is. Do, when you word it like, oh, you just go up and then right back down. Yeah, yeah it sounds so well, bad. No, that's it's not boring. true. Sometimes like, are you going to go down? You're not? Oh, you're going back you're, up? Oh, no, now you're going down. Like that's, eh. The worst part is always standing in line to do that for three hours. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. standing in line is definitely the worst part about uh, theme parks except for Universal because they have great queues. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Everything about their lines are awesome. Yeah. yeah. I just don't know if I've been. I feel like I might have been once. Have you yeah, never been? It's probably been... To Tim Hortons. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever been to Tim Hortons? Have you ever? Have you ever? Have you ever been to Tim Hortons? Have you ever? Have you ever? That's a callback to one of our earlier podcasts <laughs> available on YouTube. I hope they're singing along this time. Me too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Me too. Um. So. Uh, <laughs> it, are we it? in the wall? Oh, no, no, what's it? What's it like? Um. How? So how long has it been since you've officially been a member of As It Is? And uh, and what's that? What's that been like? Yeah, let's uh, get back to like what you do. Oh, yeah, that's I, right. Yeah, <laughs> I joined the band in 2018. Yeah, um, I got the call in 2017. Fully called me after Warp was like, mate. Oh, you that's up. a really good Foley oh, already. Yeah. Th- big things, big things changing. Uh, you can play guitar, right? I have to cut the accent because yeah, I'm so bad at it. Sure. <laughs> Respectfully, it's yeah. It's wild that you're bad at it because you're surrounded <laughs> by them all the time. I feel like I wouldn't be able to help it. No. I'd be like mocking them constantly. Well, I, I, you know, I, I like pick up like certain like vernaculars and I feel like I, yeah, I noticed you, know, you said some of cheers them. a couple cheers times. Cheers, mate, now? mate. You say mate? Yeah. Oh, all the time. You hit him with a legend every now and then? Oh, legend. Fucking ledge. Let me ask Very you this. Very fucking ace. How are you, how are you spelling uh, the word aluminum right now? Aluminum. Are you uh, saying aluminum? Uh, aluminum? Aluminium, you are mean? You aluminium? <laughs> we make eye contact. Aluminium. Yeah. Um, Shut the fuck up. <laughs> it's aluminum. <laughs> 
Who's here? Who are you trying I'm to impress? All it was is like when like the like the UK when the Brits came over, they're like, here's these words. Zach, Zach is so hard body. <laughs> Who the fuck are you trying to impress right now? I'm kidding. I, I, don't. I like to imagine the scenario when like the Brits are like, hey, here's these words. All right, what is that? All right, that's aluminium. And we're like, no. That's yeah. aluminum. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Less. W- cut w- it out. Yeah. <laughs> but the funny thing is, is that they do that to me so often. Where really? Like, oh, yeah. Because, yes. they, you know, obviously they created, you know, the English language. Mm-hmm. Well, not your band members. The <laughs> <laughs> British people. Dude. Right, 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 right. Oh, right, man. Right, yeah. Right. Dude, I love when we make people make fun of American accents in other countries. Oh, yeah. They're all bad at it. Oh, dude, my favorite was we met this really nice French girl who's a, who's a fan of ours, let us stay at her place. And um, we were like, hey, make, make fun of us. Do your best American accent. And she goes, all right. I'm American. I like to say fuck and eat McDonald's. <laughs> and you know what? You know what? Pretty accurate. Yeah, yeah. 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 True. Fucking so what are we doing after this? Accurate. Now I'm so worried that I've, I'm repeating myself. Have I done that already too? I don't too? think Who so. Cares, we talked man. about that. You know Get what, out of your right. head and get in the fucking moment. You're right. In the zone. <laughs> in the zone. In the zone. Dude, in the that was moment. inspirational. The auto zone? I felt Absolutely. that. Absolutely. The auto zone part? Yeah, the auto I zone. Absolutely. Same. Cheers, man. Um Oh my God, that was so good. Um, <sighs> Fuck. But yeah, that's yeah, that was a good one. That was a good yeah, ripper. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Ripper. yeah. So you were you had played with them but weren't an official member for a while, right? Well, so the thing is is that obviously after I met them in 2015, I kept really uh in close contact with Foley and then I bridged the gap like our friendship was really just me and Foley and then me and Patty. Those right. were the guys yeah. that I originally broke down. Obviously, me and uh, me and Ben and me and Allie were always like really cool. Yeah. But I really connected with Foley. And obviously, I just think it's the banter. I think it's just the energy. And it's yeah. just like we are just constantly. It's like we're like the Serena, not the Serenas. We're like the Williams sisters on the tennis court. Like, yeah. <laughs> Dude, you more know, sound it's just nonstop. We need more yeah. of this. Non- <laughs> nonstop. Those were tennis balls ripping across the court. I think everyone saw it. Everyone's just at home listening, like, oh, over there, uh, over there. Well, that's not how he did. He did like eight bops in a row. That's the fastest tennis player I've ever heard. Yeah, it's called professional bop, athleticism. Bop, bop, Maybe bop, you bop. heard of it. <laughs> they're, like, they're like fucking double handed. How do we? How do we get back to zero? Oh, okay, yeah. so, uh, so yeah, then. Uh, Kept close contact with him, and then I just became uh, a crew guy. Honestly, like whether it was driving, whether it was uh, guitar teching, uh, merchandise management, tour management, and pretty much oh. every crew aspect, I worked with that band. When you started oh, with them, uh, did you have like a goal, like you know what, I want to work my way to be a member, or did you, it just kind of happen? Or you just like weasel your way? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, were you like they were taking promos one day, and you just jumped in? <laughs> yeah. yeah, can you imagine? I was just like. <laughs> you just uh, and like, oh, all no, right, I actually stood in. in for Foley one time because he was really hung over and I just took my hat off and my glasses and I was like they'll never know I'm bald you know I'm like they'll never know I don't and, know if you're fucking with me or not he is and oh, okay I, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gullible I'm gullible enough I yeah. have to ask honestly same same <laughs> it would have been fucking amazing yeah man so it's like uh Really cool. I went from tuning the guitars to playing one of the fucking things. Oh my god, it's like that movie Rockstar. Yeah, mm. the you're Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, can we just shout out Mark Wahlberg yeah. if you see this? Oh, he's a big fan. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's say, a huge fan. Say, huge you, fan. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> mutual admiration, gang. Yeah. Yay. So wait, but so we went when you. Did you know when you started becoming crew that you're like, man, it'd be so cool to be in this band? Well, the, the love was always present, man. Yeah. I just, uh, you know, like, obviously you guys have been on the road since you popped out of the womb. So, <laughs> Basically. You, you know, so yeah. you guys know, like, how hard it is to find your tribe. Oh, yeah. And so to find important. guys that you can coexist with, that, like, their mannerisms, uh-huh. everything. You know his buttons. You you know his buttons. Yeah. Everyone knows Zach And you knows know when to buttons. shut the oh, fuck yeah. up, you know? I know everybody. And buttons. you know where to push, may <laughs> it. Yeah. Um, my guy, <laughs> my guy. <laughs> yeah, no. Um, yeah, I feel like sometimes just on tour, it's just like, uh, and when you're a crew guy specifically, when you're on, when you're in a band and you're touring with other bands, you can leave. When you're in a crew, yeah. and sometimes you have to work with three or four bands just to make end, ends meet and to pay yeah. your bills, right? So it's like, then you're meeting new crew people, and then you're also like meeting 
you know, a new band or maybe you're just recycling through bands, two, three, four, yeah. you know, obviously like coexisting on warp tour on buses, like sharing a bus with you guys. Yeah. yeah. Uh, sharing a bus. A buff. <laughs> <laughs> that is so sick. Yeah, B-U-T-H. What a sick list. That's, it was recorded too. That's great. <laughs> Dope. Four <laughs> um, Yeah, you know, like, uh, like I'm trying to think of everyone I've lived on a bus with just a quick, like a little fucking quick round, like yeah. uh, matchbook romance. Um, that's asking it. Alexandria, <laughs> as, like asking, uh, set it off uh, as it is. And then all of like the different like crew buses too, right? Yeah. I prevail. It's just like you learn to exist with 10 to 20 people at all times. That must and that's be really a helpful. fucking difficult thing. Yeah. It was helpful for getting over my OCD or yeah. like at least all taming that. it, you know? Yeah. But I, also like just like how, like learning the different dynamics of different buses because everyone treats their home so yeah. differently. We, we haven't had that. Exp- we've all, Every time we've toured, it's been with the same people mm-hmm. all the time. So yep. I've never gone into a new environment. I feel like it would be really hard for me. It's stressful. Yeah. It can and, be yeah. stressful. Like the first week is the hardest, you know, like just breaking the ice and like kind of yeah. getting in there. The other thing is I, I feel like because you have kind of done every job with a bunch of other people, now that you're here, you can see things from maybe a perspective that other people couldn't because they yeah. never had that job or they've never done that or been with those people. So like you've you've worked as crew, you've worked from the label standpoint, and now you're actually in the band and that's, you know how it all works. That's actually so rad because yeah. um, a lot of the things that I've been like harnessing with the songwriting now that I've been writing with the band for the first time ever um, is knowing way before I even joined the band, it's like one thing to see the perspective and like what songs the fans feel. You see yeah. like, you see how certain songs and like lyrics and words and chants and everything hit them, right? So then then going and playing on the stage to then like sharing that eye contact, oh, yeah. playing it. And it's like, okay, cool. Like <clears throat> there's certain moments on every record that exists previously that I feel like we recreated in a new fresh way that's gonna be nostalgic, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but it's also gonna like, what do you say? Like, it's just gonna recreate those feelings. Like, yeah, you know that love. And that's so. all you ever want to do. Because at the end of the day, <clears throat> we love you know making music. We love being a band, but the performing is what really is the incredible part. I remember the first time I got to really see you perform with As It Is. Oh, I, shit. I think it was in in South Florida. Mm-hmm. Um, but I remember I, I remember walking over and you were just having the time of your life. It was cool to see. It was really cool because I never seen that side in. Dude, you gotta give you props. Props to do. You're a hell of a performer. Oh, you have a, you have a really trademark. Cool. You have a thing that you do that I know you're gonna do, and it's amazing. And the fans know it too. What is it? Is you go to the top of the you go to the front of the stage. Yeah. And well, you don't have a mic, but you just go. Let's fucking go. <laughs> And dude, they lose their oh, mind. Yeah. They're like, Ronnie just told us to go. We have to go. And they go. <laughs> <laughs> Are we going? Let's yeah. go. Again. Let's go. Like, we, go we go again. again. <laughs> it's like if I were if I go to an as it is show and you're playing and you don't do that, I feel like I'm missing something. Yeah, you you know? don't go. We definitely have to go again. Yeah. You always yeah. go. You always go again. again. <laughs> Man, that rocks. Did that was, guys, so did, was there any sort of like special moment that you knew that you were going to be in the band or was it? When they said you're in the band. <laughs> <laughs> hey, come in here. It's was super it strange fun? because it was always like really early. I was like, oh man, you know, like uh, I could see myself like being in a band with guys like this because, you know, like that love that exists, it would be really tough to just join a band of dudes that you don't know. And yeah. so you're a hired gun yeah. and you're just playing, you're getting a show fee and you're just like, you have a guarantee and you're just rocking up and you're doing a part. You're playing songs that don't really maybe make you feel something. You're just going to like pay your bills. Mm-hmm. Completely different. Like those guys have always shown love. You have to be in an absolute love. Like you said, I think that the most important point of, of the things that I absorbed so far was like how much you have to be in tune with the people that you're on the road with. Yep. Like, cause God, man, like, especially when, if you start off in the van, like we were talking about before, shoulder to shoulder, that's, that's, if you get through that, you'll be pretty much okay. I think. Yeah. Um, but just, they, it, it can make or break your whole situation. A lot of bands will fall apart because of inner, inner turmoil yep. and whatnot. So knowing you're going in, loving the people that you're with, because yeah. they're all great guys. Yep. You, you guys are all amazing. We've, we've loved you guys since day one. I think, oh, yeah, that, I think that feeling as is it is, is probably one of the bands that we've toured the most with. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's really cool. Uh, that was actually my first official um, tour. Well, I suppose it wasn't my first official tour. It's just after Warp Tour was with y'all in Japan. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, oh, so what a fun. good time. And I was like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> I get to go to this new country yeah. with all the boys. Oh, yeah. man. It felt so good. Yeah. And, girls, and then, shout out Georgia. What's up? And, uh, <laughs> and then also, uh, like, uh, we shared a van. 
uh, yeah. both bands toured in the same vehicle. Oh, it was oh, perfect. Yeah. yeah, you can just tell like there's certain people that uh, they have their morning routine and it's not to hear us on our bullshit. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you know? they, were, they were like, hey, I can't fucking handle you with yeah. setting yeah. off because you're a completely different animal. <laughs> you know, even Foley was like, Oi, mate, you gotta yeah. cut the shit for the first time of the day. You know, like, <laughs> dude, we're, cause we're, you know, we're Bump all and ripping. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And all cylinders. If, if we have to be together, we're going to make it funny. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Like, if we have to be up in the morning to go somewhere for tour or something, it's gonna be a rip roaring ha ha. <laughs> oh, yeah. Other, if not, then we're just gonna be super sad. <laughs> yeah. And, like, oh, you have to down. turn your boohoos into teehees. Yeah. 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 That's true. <laughs> Turn your boohoos into, into teehees. <laughs> in six easy minutes, you can turn <laughs> your boohoos into <laughs> teehees. Is that is that the name of the podcast? Boohoos oh, into teehees. Oh, oh, we God. already have an episode with tee in the oh, title. Um, I'll be real. Talk it off is fucking awesome. Yeah. Are you having fun? Name? No, this is awesome. <laughs> Am I the first guest? Yes. You're the first, yeah, we already first established guest we've that. ever had. Yeah. yeah. I was telling I, I, never I told said somebody the other right. day. Told somebody the other day. I was like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna go rock over uh, with the set it off. I'm, I'm gonna be on their podcast. They're like. They invited you to be on their podcast? I fucking live out here. Why they didn't fucking ask me to be on the podcast? Yeah. Wait, they don't go far back, I guess. <laughs> I already know who it is, too. Yeah. Yeah. Because they're wow. not funny. Like <laughs> Ronnie's funny. That's a- Oh, my God. You know what? I think we've hit our mark, though. I oh, think yeah. This time, it? Yeah, it? And we're going to keep ripping jokes after this. So, yeah. yeah. But now we just have to end the podcast. But uh, you want to you wanna sing us out? Oh, yeah. Dude, I forgot how bad the intro was. <laughs> Here's your chance. Redemption. Everybody fucking drop. Thank you guys so much for listening. I am Cody. Max. Zach. And Ronnie. And you've been listening to the Talk it off Ish Podcast. You fucked it up, Max. <laughs> <laughs> and it'll be recorded forever. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. Peace. <laughs> that was great. That was a lot of fun. Hell yeah. Nice.